the distant and enigmatic realm of Pluto was once classified as a legitimate planet within our solar system. However, recent discussions among leading astrophysicists, including Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku, have thrust Pluto back into the spotlight. Their groundbreaking theories suggest that Pluto might be on a potential collision course with Neptune, a notion that raises numerous questions. How could such an event occur, and what might be the repercussions of such a monumental impact? Are we witnessing a fascinating cosmic anomaly, or is there a deeper, more intricate phenomenon at play? Join us as we examine the possible consequences of a Pluto-Neptune collision. Once regarded as a smaller and more isolated member of the solar system, Pluto continues to captivate scientific interest and investigation. Leading studies from top experts reveal that Pluto's orbit is perilously close to Neptune's, and some astrophysicists, including Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku, have raised alarms about a potential catastrophic collision between the two. Could such an event pose a significant risk to Earth? How might this unfold? Pluto's orbit around the Sun is unlike that of any other planet in our solar system. It takes an extraordinary 248 years to complete a single orbit. Since its discovery in 1930, Pluto has not yet finished one full orbit. However, this is just the beginning of the intrigue. Pluto's orbit is highly elongated, in stark contrast to the nearly circular orbits of the major planets. What makes Pluto's orbit even more perplexing is its tilt of 17 degrees relative to the ecliptic plane, making it one of the most inclined orbits in the solar system. This inclination, combined with its irregular shape, adds to the complexity of its path through space. One of the most fascinating aspects of Pluto's orbit is its intersection with Neptune's orbit. For approximately 20 years during each orbit, Pluto actually travels closer to the Sun than Neptune, defying expectations based on the relative positions of the two planets. This naturally prompts the question, why hasn't Pluto collided with Neptune? The answer lies in the gravitational influences of other planets. The study of Pluto's orbit began soon after its discovery, with astronomers initially struggling to make sense of its peculiar path. Unlike other planets whose orbits lie relatively close to the ecliptic plane, Pluto's orbit stood out because of its extreme tilt and eccentric shape. The mystery surrounding Pluto's orbit crossing Neptune's is linked to the stability of its path, which is governed by a phenomenon known as the three-body problem. This problem seeks to understand how three celestial bodies, such as Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, interact and influence each other's motion via gravitational forces. It's akin to predicting the future locations of these objects based on their starting positions and the gravitational pulls they exert on one another. In Pluto's case, the three-body problem reveals how its orbit, Neptune's orbit, and the Sun's gravity work together in an intricate and balanced way. The terms asymmetric libration, degree libration, and VZK wobbling are all part of this complex issue. According to astrophysicists, the reason planets stay in their orbits is a form of libration. For Pluto and Neptune, this term refers to the fact that whenever Pluto crosses Neptune's orbit, it is always at least 90 degrees away from Neptune's position, preventing a direct collision. Degree libration refers to the oscillation of a celestial body in its orbit. For Pluto, this means that when it comes closest to Neptune, it is positioned either far above or below Neptune's orbital plane, further shielding it from potential collisions. Another critical factor contributing to the stability is the VZK wobbling, named after the scientists who studied how celestial objects move in space. This phenomenon explains how Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun affect each other's motions through gravitational pull, helping us understand why Pluto's path remains stable over long periods, despite its seemingly erratic movement. These forces are essential in maintaining Pluto's orbit, ensuring it does not crash into Neptune or stray off course. The three-body problem and the dynamics of these gravitational interactions are key to understanding how orbits evolve and how celestial bodies influence each other. By studying these interactions, we gain insights into Pluto, our solar system, and even distant stars and planets. Numerical simulations conducted in the late 1980s revealed that, despite the stabilizing factors, Pluto's orbit can be highly erratic, with small variations in initial conditions leading to substantial differences over long periods. However, these irregularities have not disrupted Pluto's orbit, 
which has remained consistent over vast stretches of time. Recent computer simulations have provided further clarity on how giant planets like Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn influence Pluto's orbit. For instance, Neptune and Pluto are in a unique resonance. For every two orbits Pluto completes, Neptune completes three. This resonance helps to stabilize Pluto's orbit. However, Neptune is not the only force at work. Jupiter's gravity also plays a significant role in stabilizing Pluto's path, as does Saturn. These simulations suggest that Jupiter's gravitational pull alone is powerful enough to keep Pluto on a stable trajectory for billions of years, possibly even indefinitely. The combined influence of Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn is crucial in ensuring Pluto can travel safely through space without encountering major disruptions. These findings are vital in understanding the broader dynamics of the universe. Without these stabilizing forces, the solar system would be a much more chaotic and unstable place. Objects like Pluto could potentially collide with other celestial bodies or be ejected from their orbits, leading to a cascade of disturbances throughout the solar system. For Pluto, understanding its orbit is especially important, particularly in light of ongoing discussions about a possible future collision with Neptune. These considerations offer us a clearer understanding of the dynamic nature of our solar system. Pluto's case illustrates how even seemingly unstable orbits can reach a state of balance through intricate interactions of gravitational forces and orbital mechanics. It also underscores the importance of ongoing research to deepen our understanding of our place in the universe. Exploring the vastness of space often requires confronting the unpredictable nature of celestial bodies, and Pluto's orbit serves as an ideal example of this unpredictability. The concept of orbital resonance, referring to the delicate balance of a celestial body's orbit based on its initial conditions, is clearly demonstrated by Pluto. Even minor variations in Pluto's position or speed can significantly alter its long-term orbital trajectory. Simulations have been instrumental in studying how Pluto moves through space. These simulations use complex mathematics to model the gravitational interactions between Pluto and other celestial bodies, such as Neptune. By altering small details in these models, astronomers can observe how even tiny changes can lead to dramatic shifts in Pluto's future path. These simulations revealed something intriguing about Pluto's orbit. Despite the stabilizing mechanisms, such as asymmetric libration and degree libration, its orbit can still be highly erratic. Even the smallest changes in Pluto's starting position or velocity can cause its orbit to evolve in unpredictable ways over time. Nonetheless, despite this apparent chaos, Pluto's orbit remains remarkably stable over billions of years, suggesting that there is an underlying order to its journey around the Sun, even though it may seem chaotic at first glance particularly when considering the complexities of Pluto's highly inclined orbit. The unpredictability of large orbits like Pluto's presents significant challenges for astronomers. The inherent nature of these systems suggests that long-term predictions are often fraught with uncertainty. While numerical simulations are excellent tools for understanding and predicting the future behavior of celestial bodies, they also highlight the limitations of such predictions. These models rely heavily on the accuracy of initial conditions and the complexity of the interactions they simulate. A slight error in these conditions can dramatically alter the predicted outcome, making precise predictions incredibly difficult. Moreover, the tumultuous nature of large orbits like Pluto's serves as a reminder of the constantly evolving and dynamic nature of the universe. While significant progress has been made in understanding space, Pluto's example shows us just how much more remains to be discovered. Understanding the gravitational effects of giant planets on Pluto's orbit provides valuable insights into the broader dynamics of our solar system. It demonstrates how the positions and motions of individual planets can have far-reaching consequences on the stability and trajectory of other objects in the system. But why are prominent astrophysicists now raising concerns about a potential collision between Pluto and Neptune despite all these complex forces at work to prevent such an event. Neil deGrasse Tyson, a well-known astrophysicist, offers a detailed perspective on the mysteries of our solar system, particularly through the fascinating example of Pluto. Tyson, who played a significant role in reclassifying Pluto from a planet to a dwarf planet, provides an insightful analysis of the evolving nature of celestial mechanics and the growing public interest in the overlooked corners of space. 
According to Tyson, the reclassification of Pluto was not a diminishment, but rather a necessary adjustment in light of our expanding understanding of the many bodies that orbit our Sun Tyson views the complexities of Pluto's orbit and its interactions with Neptune as a reminder of the unpredictability of space. While he acknowledges that Pluto's orbit is stable for now, he suggests that it could undergo significant changes in the future. This possibility highlights the ongoing need for further exploration and discovery of the forces that shape our nearby solar system. As we continue to explore the vast and ever-evolving nature of space, the interactions between celestial bodies such as Pluto and Neptune, remain a crucial area of study. The idea of a possible collision between these two distant objects might seem far-fetched, especially given the forces at play that seem to ensure their continued stability. However, the very nature of space, unpredictable, complex, and constantly changing, leaves room for new discoveries and unexpected outcomes. As Neil deGrasse Tyson and other leading astrophysicists have pointed out, our understanding of these celestial mechanics is still developing, and the potential for unforeseen events remains. While Pluto's orbit appears stable, with mechanisms like orbital resonance and gravitational interactions with Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn providing necessary stability, scientists remain cautious. The precision of astronomical models can only go so far in predicting the future behavior of objects millions or even billions of miles away. As we learn more about Pluto's orbital mechanics, we also uncover more questions, particularly regarding its interactions with Neptune. The potential for Pluto's orbit to undergo significant changes over long periods of time could pose risks, no matter how stable it appears in the short term. Tyson's perspective is rooted in the concept of continuous learning and adaptation within the scientific community. He emphasizes the importance of acknowledging the limitations of current models while remaining open to new possibilities. In the case of Pluto, the study of its orbit is far from over, and researchers are continuing to investigate all potential scenarios, including the remote possibility of a collision with Neptune. By exploring such extreme scenarios, scientists gain a deeper understanding of the mechanics that govern our solar system, and potentially, other systems beyond our own. The prospect of a Pluto-Neptune collision, while currently unlikely, serves as a reminder of how dynamic and unpredictable the universe can be. Just as Pluto's orbit defies traditional expectations, so too do the forces shaping the solar system present a continual challenge to our understanding. We must continue to develop more accurate and detailed simulations to better grasp how gravitational influences from distant planets might affect Pluto's path over time. The work of astrophysicists like Tyson and Kaku underscores the critical need for ongoing research in celestial mechanics. As our technology advances, we are able to make increasingly sophisticated simulations and measurements, which provide a more comprehensive understanding of planetary motion. These breakthroughs not only refine our understanding of objects like Pluto and Neptune, but also help us gain insights into the behavior of stars, galaxies, and other distant celestial bodies. As we expand our knowledge of the forces at work in the cosmos, we uncover patterns that shape the universe on scales that were once incomprehensible. Beyond the specific question of Pluto and Neptune, these scientific investigations also help us appreciate the broader dynamics of our solar system and its place in the universe. They remind us that, while we have made significant strides in understanding the forces that govern planetary motion, much remains unknown. Our solar system, with its complex interplay of gravitational forces and orbital patterns, continues to be a source of wonder and discovery. The more we study the intricate movements of objects like Pluto, the more we come to realize how much there is yet to explore. The possibility of a Pluto-Neptune collision is just one of many questions that highlight the unpredictable nature of celestial dynamics. However, even if such a collision is extremely unlikely in the near future, the study of these interactions remains valuable for our understanding of space. By continuing to monitor and analyze the movements of Pluto and other distant objects, we can refine our models and better anticipate the long-term behavior of the solar system. In conclusion, while the idea of a Pluto-Neptune collision raises intriguing questions, it is also a testament to the complexity and unpredictability of space. Through the study of gravitational interactions, orbital mechanics, and celestial resonance, scientists are able to uncover new insights that challenge our previous understanding 
and push the boundaries of our knowledge. As we continue to explore the cosmos, we remain humble in the face of its vastness and complexity, aware that even our most sophisticated models may one day be proven incomplete. The journey of discovery is far from over, and as our understanding evolves, so too does our appreciation for the intricate dance of the planets and other celestial bodies within our solar system.